Chromebooks are deeply integrated with Google services like Google Drive, but if you have data in non-Google products like Dropbox or OneDrive, that could be a bit of a challenge. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect those two services to your Chromebook. To begin, we're going to go into our app launcher and search for files, and we need to open up the file app. When we open up files, you'll see your typical uh, structure. We've got My Files, which is the local storage of your device, and Google Drive right below it. We're going to add an external source. First, I'm going to click on My Files. Then I'm going to click on the snowman in the top right corner of the Files app and select Add New Service. There are a couple of Chrome apps that allow you to connect your Chromebook to other services, um, most notably Dropbox and Microsoft's OneDrive. Now I already have Dropbox installed, so I just click on File System for Dropbox, select Mount. I've already signed into my Dropbox account, so this is a pretty quick process. It'll take a second, and now my Dropbox will appear as a file folder um, in the Chrome um, files menu and all of my content is in here. This makes it very convenient if you're trying to move content from Dropbox into Google Drive. I can just select files and drag them right into Drive and drop them into folders uh, wherever I'd like to save them. If you're interested in installing this or the OneDrive app, um, I can show you how to do that. Again, we'll click on My Files. We'll click on the snowman, add new services, and we'll say install new service from the web store. It's going to take you to the file page. There's a few different things in here. Um, many of these are pretty obscure. The two that you're probably mostly going to be interested in is the file system for Windows and the file system for uh, OneDrive. Um, Dropbox will be in here as well. I already have it installed, so it's not uh, appearing. You'll install that app, you'll authenticate your account and sign in, and uh, then you'll be able to mount that into the Chrome um, files menu.